Okay, before I start today's retro bat in how to add scan lines to give you more of a CRT look with your retro gaming experience, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too. So just a minute ago, somebody asked me to add some scan lines to some gameplay. So I looked through my retro bat setup guides and if you're new to my channel, you'll realize that I've covered retro bat about a million times at this point for different reasons so we're looking at scan lines today to really enhance how your games look so it's very simple what we're going to do is just open up retro bat okay so we're inside a retro bat and as you can see I've got cave now if I go inside a cave if I hold down on my A button for one of these games, which is Air Galette, I know this isn't a cave game, but that's going to open up an option panel on the right hand side, as you can see. If I just scroll down to advanced game options, you should find a shader set option just here. Now, by default, this is going to be set to auto, but specifically, if you want scan lines, I recommend using the CRT New Pixie. So if I just apply this one and I open up the game, And just bear in mind that you can generally use this for all systems covered within Retrobat. You'll generally get the same options per system. And here you go. As you can see, I've now got a CRT effect. And just remember, if you're running games through Retroarch within Retrobat, if you press the space bar, you can actually fast forward. Okay, so if I just exit out of there, and again, if I hold on to the A button on my Xbox controller, like I say, we can go to Advanced Game Options under Shader Set. Now, remember, you can actually do this per game, or we can actually press select button and we can do it for every game within K, for example. So if you want to uh, use this same effect on every game, and as an example, this is for Cave, we're going to go to advanced system options, shader set, and if we choose CRT New Pixie, if I come out and open up another game, go for Death Smiles. And as you can see just there, we've also got a real rounded off CRT effect on that. And it's entirely up to you which effect you use. So just remember you can do it per game or per system. So another one to check out would be the actual scan lines shader. So if we apply this one, and I'm gonna open up Ergolet again. Air gets blown. So as you can see, that's looking more like the arcade experience. And if I just take away the shaders altogether, and I go to Num, for example, if I open up that same game again, we'll see a vast difference. Merit blows you. Two 
And that's it for today's retro bat guide. So if you are new to my channel, just be sure to check out in my comments section. I've left a link to both of my playlists for retro bat users. That will cover most systems covered by retro bat as well as general helps and advice guides. Anyways, if you liked the video today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. Also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.